Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, whoa. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner. What is the story guys? How he's doing? Back at the game with a proper Lego review guys. It's been a while since I've reviewed a Lego set so I am buzzing to get into this. Basically I was sitting around and I was like what do I want to build? What set is springing into me right now that I want to build and it's bang. The Lego Mandalorian helmet guys. Holy shit. I completely forgot I had these guys. I completely forgot that I had the brand new helmets. Um, I wanted to build them and then I just hadn't uploaded in like a month. So uh, we're back again, we're gonna do this. The helmet collection is my absolute favorite collection that Lego do. I absolutely love all the Star Wars and Marvel helmets, mainly the Star Wars ones. I think the Star Wars ones absolutely kill it. And this one is a very welcomed addition to that. So I cannot wait to build this. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump in and inspect the packaging. So here it is guys, this is set number 75328. This is the Mandalorian helmet. 18 plus guys, it also has 584 pieces. Retailing for 60 quid guys, 60 euros or dollars or I'm not doing any other conversions. Back it again guys with the classic black box art. It looks great. The little orange hue there around the helmet looks amazing. The way it's angled as well looks really cool. Mandalorian logo at the top with the little kind of insignia here. Looks really great. Lego, Star Wars, Disney, what more would you expect? Around the side there guys, is another kind of Mandalorian logo there. Nothing really much going on there. I absolutely love this kind of side box art here. A front on view of the Mandalorian helmet and also has the helmet collection tagline there. Looking really nice and snazzy. At the top there guys, um, not much going on here again. Just the Mandalorian Star Wars Lego logo there. And we also have an actual real life size there at one of the pieces. Looks really nice. I'm excited to see these shiny pieces in action. And then around the back there guys, we also have a different kind of angle there at the helmet with some couple of other pictures here with the dimensions and stuff. Showing us that this helmet is seven inches tall and then we also have an actual look there at the Mandalorian helmet which I absolutely love when they do that because it shows that Lego are kind of proud that they're like yeah this this is what it is doesn't it look exactly like this and sometimes it doesn't but uh, sometimes it does anyway guys without further ado let's jump in and unbox this thing let's go guys how he's doing he's all right he's excited for season three of Ryan's Connor fucking Jesus I'm really struggling here let's go okay I guess I'm not doing that now let's open this I am absolutely doing a terrible job Bang! Okay, I'm bored with the box now. Five bags of Lego, guys, and we also have the instructions here. No stickers, guys, which is deadly. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't expecting stickers because, like, he just doesn't really have a detailed helmet like that. Instructions, guys, instructions feel really nice, actually. They feel lovely. Same cover as the box, which is okay, but I absolutely love the back of it there. Just Star Wars there, looking really nice and classy. I love them black instructions. Open up there, guys, we have some information about the Mandalorian helmet. I'm not gonna read it. I do absolutely love this shot there of Mando. He looks great. And not much going on there at all. Just showing you how to build it. How many steps to this, guys? Um, 192 steps, guys. Shouldn't take us too long. I'd say 40 minutes maybe or so. And then just feedback and win. Nothing else going on. Um, yeah, super nice, super cool though. I'm really liking this. Does it come with a brick separator? It does. It comes with a brick separator. Ooh. I'm building a little collection of brick separators, guys. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's jump in and let's build this thing. What music am I going to use? Probably some dog shit fucking hip hop beats or some shit. Anyway guys, let's do this. Bang, and there you have it guys. There's the first look there at the brand new Lego Star Wars Mandalorian helmet. And holy shit, this thing looks really cool. I really love the look of this. And um, I was a bit concerned when I saw the pictures first and it was like all gray and kind of silvery kind of colors, but um, it actually works together pretty well. I think it looks really good. It actually is a nice combination there, the different types of grays. Didn't take me too long guys, say about an hour. 
say about an hour. It was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty heavy, guys. It's pretty hefty. It's a nice little build. It was pretty fun, pretty interactive. But I will say for the building experience part of it, um, because it's a lot of grey, I think once you get past the internal part where you kind of have a lot more kind of colourful pieces, once you kind of get to the grey section, it can be a bit of a slog. And um, I was kind of getting confused between pieces and stuff because it's just all grey. But um, that's I know that's my fault as well. I don't like organise the pieces because I don't give a shit. But the overall shape of this is pretty cool, guys. It looks really nice. There's a lot of detail, a lot of kind of indents and stuff into the helmet to give it that shape. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of tiny flaws that I want to go over in the in-depth. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's jump into a proper in-depth review of this helmet. Shut up, chair. Yeah. And here we have it guys, here's the Lego Mandalorian helmet up close there now. First impressions, I think this guy looks really, really great. I absolutely love it. I think the silver colour works really well with the grey, which I said I was a little bit sceptical of. Um, but still, I just think it looks really great. Yeah, going into this when I saw the different colours, I just would have been, it would have been really nice to get this thing all silver. But I know that probably would have been super expensive, whatever. But um, I think the overall effect here is really great. And taking up here guys, you have this kind of front on view, which looks really, really great guys. Absolutely love the way you have the kind of curvature here in the cheeks. Looks so good. Them indents there look so great. Silver pieces here. And I just love the kind of black visor here. Now getting into my first gripe with this set guys, is, is this kind of bit here. The kind of black line here, the front of the helmet. I just think it's a little bit too big. I, it would have been nice if it was a little bit skinnier, which they have done before, guys, on the Boba Fett helmet. If I bring in Boba Fett here, guys, you kind of see these are based, these are both Mandalorian helmets. The way Boba Fett here, it's this is two studs wide, but Mando's it's it's about three. It's about three studs. And I just think it looks a little bit better here on the Boba Fett helmet. And in reality, Boba Fett actually has a, a bigger kind of piece here than Mando does. So Mando kind of comes down and, and it kind of gets skinnier, which um I know this would have been difficult to achieve in Lego form, but I just don't know the way I don't know why they changed it from this, the two studs. The overall effect it still looks great, but um for them to be basically the same helmet, um I don't know why they kind of changed it up like that. But uh, ah, sure. Overall though, guys, the actual front on look looks really great, guys. The coverage there, the kind of silver piece here looks really great. Around the side, I actually love the side of the helmet, guys. This looks really great, guys. These kind of silver pieces here, the combination of greys look really great. And I love the way, guys, it's not entirely straight. The way it's kind of curved out a little bit, it kind of slants down a little bit. Looks really great, guys. Yeah, I like the way it's not flat there. Just giving it a little bit more detail there, feeling like it's an actual helmet. And the exact same around the other side as well, guys. Pretty symmetrical helmet. Mando's helmet is pretty plain. Um, pretty boring, pretty simple, but um, the overall detail here is really great. So it's not a lot for me to talk about here in terms of details and stuff. No stickers or anything, but the overall effect here is is amazing. And around the back here as well, guys, looks really nice. The little grey piece here, these kind of grills look really great. I'm not a big fan of the way there's just a little slight gap here in between these two silver pieces. I wish this like connected a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to say, they also left me a piece short. There should be a little kind of stud, couple of studs here. So we see them here on this side. And um, yeah, they left me a piece short. So uh, yeah, fuck you, Lego. We have the base here as well, guys. I absolutely love this kind of base and this stand. And um, they've done it for a fair few years now. And um, they haven't changed the design, so I'm liking that from Lego. Uh, keep it up, guys, for the continuity. I love the plaque as well, guys. Lego, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. Nice, plain, simple, well done, Star Wars. I was really worried at first that this was going to be branded under The Mandalorian and not Star Wars. And I would have just kind of stood out amongst all the others. And I wanted it to kind of just say Star Wars. Uh, so it would go along with all my other helmets and it and they did it right. So well done. Unlike Marvel that have got 20 fucking different things they have for their brand and well done Star Wars. That's that's one thing you have uh, on the upper hand there for uh, on, on Marvel. Yeah, guys, there you have it. There's the Mando helmet there. Now, not really much more for me to say. Really nice looking helmet. I uh, do like the different curves there, guys. I'm not really a massive fan of the kind of visor at the front. I wish it was a little bit skinnier, but uh, it still looks really great. And um, kind of side angle there, guys, it looks a lot better. From head on, you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but um, it does look really great. The silvery piece here look really great, and I do like the kind of cheekbone design, that kind of indents there, giving it a little bit of a shadow there. Really, really nice, guys. But yeah, guys, it's gonna look really great with the rest of the collection, guys. It's gonna look really nice next to Boba Fett. Really fun build, guys. Uh, for 60 quid, I think it's a pretty fair price set. Um, would I recommend this if you want a little set for your desk or something? Absolutely. I'm going to give this guy, um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, guys. Really do like this set, guys. I can't wait to put it with the rest of the helmets. Yeah, guys, for me, 7 out of 10 at the moment. And there you have it, guys. There's the last look there at the Mandalorian helmet. Let me know what you thought about this set in the comments below. I really enjoy building it and I'd recommend picking it up. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd pick it up based on this review. I still have the other two Star Wars helmets to do. The Luke Skywalker's helmet and the Dark Trooper. So let me know if you want me to build them and which one you'd want me to do first. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. You're deadly as a whopper. Thank you so much for all the support on the LEGO reviews lately. You are deadly. Um, thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you soon. And stay safe out there. <laughs>